So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Cam. Let's talk about 2020 for real. Let's keep it a B now. <sighs> Let's keep it a B now. I, I don't like how everybody's trying to cancel everybody, bro. Like, oh, canceling the season? Yes, why? Why? Like, I think it was like in a climate where people was perceptive to like, not critiques, but everybody felt like they had to get woke. So with that being said, they trying to call everybody out on all this stuff. But okay, I, also, I can see some things. Okay. But it be like dumb stuff. It be like like one dude on TikTok, all he do is make facial expressions and he got canceled for that. He got canceled for making facial expressions. So basically he look at videos, let's say in the first half, cause you, you might get canceled for this, but mm -hmm. in the first half they'll look like, like a dude, like a dude, like straight, mm -hmm. whatever, look like me. And mm -hmm. then in the next half, they'll it'll be like a transition. Makeup on. Yeah. With a wig. Yeah, all that stuff, and then turns like a. Why was he canceled? So? And he he would just he would just do this he would, he would do this he would be like and he'd be like just with a straight face. When he turned to a girl. Yeah, when they turned to a girl, he'll just do this. But it's a joke. Yeah. It's a and joke. He got canceled with that. He got his account banned. See. Wait, what? When he turned to a girl, was it like nice, or was it like sloppy looking? <coughs> Wait, no, no. You under, okay? He would look at videos. Oh, of, people, of other people doing of it. other people doing that, and um, he would just deal from to just a straight. I face. think he was just trying to express that he's not gay. I mean, I could see where it's controversial. I feel like nowadays people don't know how to take a joke, like. They gotta take everything seriously. I got mixed feelings. And cancel everybody. I got mixed feelings. Only reason why, okay, that specific video. I don't think we should cancel everybody, but I think that specific video. Well, one, the reason why I feel like we shouldn't cancel everybody is because you don't know them in real life. Like, you only know what they post, what they show. I don't know. I don't know, time, I don't know how many times influencers have to explain that. They only show what they feel like they wanna show you. You don't know them for real. As much as I think I know some of my favorite celebrities, I don't know them. And they could be as transparent as they can be on camera. But it's like, I don't see them day to day. I don't know what they do. I don't know what they do. This is like the girl Shekinah. I watch Shekinah on live. She be on live all day, y'all. She be on live all day. Like It seemed like she be dang near on there for like 24 hours. But just me seeing her on live does not mean... That I know her because I don't. She's not my friend. We don't talk. I don't know what she got going on. Let's be real. And I feel like that specific video, I do feel like I understand why it's controversial because we don't want to normalize. Like, let's just stop normalizing downplaying gayness. Like, just because you gay, let's just not like. But it was a facial expression. No, I get it. But I'm saying, like, people just take hints. You know what I'm saying? It's just like when you, it's just like all the TV shows that we watch that have like hidden jokes. It's funny. But if we really were to like, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to say. TV shows and comedy shows, they make fun of a lot of stuff that's serious. Like, they make it a joke. And like, we laugh and stuff, but you got to, like, shows talk about a little bit of everything. So like, even if they said one thing or another, like, you probably forget about it by the end of the episode unless that's just something that bothers you but like when some people do like a tiktok video where that's all they do now you hean it in on oh well he's he's homophobic because you know what i'm saying yeah i feel you i just feel like and three I feel like we all need to mind our daggone business that pays us. True. How am I going to cancel somebody? How am I going to cancel somebody, huh? How am I going to cancel somebody? And I saw one time, it was crazy. Like, oh my God. Hello? This one girl on TikTok, she literally told her fans 
to cancel this. It was cancel somebody for basically like no reason. And that's sad using your platform to just literally end people's career. People career be ended off of that cancel stuff. Because I feel like we just in a climate where everybody just feel like, I don't know. Everybody's just trying to take in so much. Because everybody on social media, when we was doing the protests and stuff, everybody felt like they had something to say and people taking in. Yeah, people just taking in a whole bunch of different stuff. So it's like, either you going to conform to what people saying, or you going to... You know, just let it go in one ear out the other. But that's why everybody always say, make sure you do your research. Don't believe everything. You know, another thing is everybody to be like, all lives matter. That's crazy. I got to make sure about that too. That's crazy. I do believe all lives matter. But I do think that we ignoring the bigger picture. All we saying is all lives do matter. But we all not, like, all lives don't really matter. But see, that's the thing, like, Black Lives Matter is a small phrase, right? It's easy, it's an acronym, for BLM, all of that, right? There is no Black Lives Matter. But we also think all lives matter because da, 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 da. that's not the that's not the slogan. The slogan is Black Lives Matter. People read that and run with it. And just like we feel how we feel, it's people that feel that same way but aren't expressing it. But I've seen plenty of videos that people have literally said Black Lives Matter. And somebody say all lives matter and be like, that's not true. So it's kind of like... Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a, that's it, like a, sometimes people just take a phrase and then yeah. everybody a, got different opinions about it. And that's why it's getting so... That's why it's so controversial. Like, even that phrase is controversial because it's so many people have different opinions about it. But you hear one thing. It's whatever go top news. Like, if somebody get on the news channel and say, all lives don't matter, you need to get behind black lives matter. Because black lives do matter and this and other. Then that's everybody going to think, okay, that's what black lives matter means. That's what it means. Another thing I feel like, I feel like some people mess up the Black Lives Matter movement. Yeah, they use it wrongly. Yeah. They use it for everything. But it's just like daddy came home talking about some man was stealing. Some of some Black Lives Matter was walking out the door as if that was justifying his stealing. No. that's making us look bad. A lot of stuff make us look bad. Honestly, I don't know. I don't want to get into it. That's a whole other thing. Like stereotypes and stuff. Because I just feel like stereotypes are sad. But it's a reason why it's a stereotype. Because it's probably 75% true. I just really get into it. It wouldn't be a stereotype if it didn't have some of facts in it. If we're really trying to get into it, we like Fit the black... Mode black culture like the black community we need to do better as whole like we if all of us did better i feel like we, we wouldn't be talked about we wouldn't yeah. be the top of conversation yeah and the main reason why a lot of people don't get behind black lives matter is because they feel like we kill our own people yeah. so why should we care why why should we be fighting for your rights to um to have justice for killings when you kill your own people and like, I can't even, what can I say to that? What can I say to that when it's been five shootings and people didn't die in a week? At least 10 people die a week by black on black crime. Then I have people say black on black crime not real. Okay, one thing. What is it then? What is it? What is it thing, when a black man shoot another black man? What is that? So why we don't talk about why don't white crime? Why don't white crime? Yeah, because I... Well, it's... Only reason why like anything... White white crime, it's, it's kind of... It's close. The only reason why anything pops is because it's becoming more and more... The only, only reason why stuff pop in the black community is because we weren't talked about at first. Like, let's, let's think about this. And this is why we say Black Lives Matter because it's white America. Like, that is the foundation. That's the normal... And then it's black people. 
we're not the normal we are the minority that's why everything that we do is categorized in a whole different thing like why don't white crime is not a phrase anybody no, say exactly because white america is normal quote unquote normal instead of if black people was normal then we'll be saying why don't white crime is so common then why don't white crime not something people say they just say it's a crime True. i don't know it's stuff like that day to day like it should be no reason why when i search on pinterest for i can search headbands no i can search tattoos that's a good example i can search tattoos and it's gonna be a whole bunch of white people come up. Maybe like one black person. I have to literally type in Pinterest tattoos on black women, on black men. Like, why do I have to put a race to see my people on a feed that literally made this? Mm, let's not get into it. But we are the foundation of the world. But yet, I cannot, I don't see my people. I don't see my people day to day. That's why everybody is so pushing black businesses and black representation. Because it's true. You don't see, I mean, it's, you see black people in commercials now, but you not on Google. True. TV has come a long way, yes. But if you, if, if a person from a different country look up America... I bet you it's probably one black person in all the pictures. Mm -hmm. One, we need to do better. We need to lower. We need to try to we need to stop killing our own people. Mm -hmm. Stop killing our own brothers. Mm -hmm. Then we need to actually use black like we can't just like you can't just go rob a bank or like. Or like loot some place and be like, oh, Black Lives Matter. But at the same time, like there was instances where, like, white people didn't get their way, and they mm -hmm. rioted, and they was doing all this stuff that we doing now. But we're basically called like savages. But <laughs> this and I love it was different. Everybody saying. Everybody saying we we always want we always um, want people to remember 9/11, but then we want us to forget slavery. That's what people been saying. Yeah, I think that. It's true. I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that we don't take seriously, and a lot of times it involves African Americans. I don't know it's sad i mean i wish it was different because what it's been centuries yeah and we still i mean we're making progress yeah. but it's nowhere near as fast uh -huh. as it should have been like i just think it's 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 all taught so if we start with the school system that's really talking I feel about like it we should learn that's really talking about we the should school learn system. more history of african americans yeah no everything in general because we the stuff we learn about I think we need better cultural representation. Like I feel like yeah. history. It's always it's just like history is isn't small, but like I feel like we only learn stuff from like the 1600s, like the 1800s. Like that's what they highlight on, and what everybody was doing across the world around that time. But we really don't talk about the 1900s for real. I guess because you know we're we are only in the 2000s. But I do feel like. It's no recent development that you learn in school. Like, like what you learn in the Chinese culture really isn't. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Asian, Asian culture. It's not much. We learn about. I mean, it's obviously we should focus on American culture. I get that, but how can you? How how can you expect be, somebody to treat? We don't even be talking about all American culture. We just talk about like certain parts. And that's the thing, like, because America is a free country, we have literally every nationality living in America. So why wouldn't we learn good representation of each race? So that when you meet an Asian person, when you meet a um, Hispanic person, 
you know their background, you know where they come from, you know they mean what da 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 da. So it wouldn't be no black and white. Because there's other nationalities too. Like I feel like Middle Eastern people get treated bad too. I'm gonna say Middle Eastern, I'm gonna say like Muslims. Yeah. It's all stereotypes. Especially after 9 11. And all they're trying to do is come to this country and live a good life. A better life than they would in a regular country. That's why I think everybody should just mind their business. That's why. Mm, it's like I know the United States is like united. But I kind of wish it was all just separated. Mm. That's why a lot of people was like we should just buy land and just bring all black people to one spot and we just live amongst other black people and stop trying to mix the races. Mm. The only reason why I was kind of hesitant with that is because one, you know, God says we love all people so I don't really think we should exclude because then we segregate them. Yeah, we can't do that. Yeah, I think that's going too far but I also see the benefit of it because we would be boosting each other up as a community, but I do feel like it can get ghetto. I said one dude, uh, one dude on TikTok, he was talking about that because somebody bought land, I think in like New Orleans yeah. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Someone was like, um, basically all the neighbors just finna kill each other. I don't think that, but I do feel like, that's why I was just talking about gentrification. Like there should be no reason why gentrification cleans up a city. Like it should have already been clean. Like I don't know why and it may be a monetary thing, I will say that. I will say, like, white people be bringing in their white money. But I do feel like it should be no reason why black communities don't get funding to keep it up. And I do, that's why I think black people should do better. Because there should be no reason why it's so much litter and graffiti. When I go, I don't really mind graffiti, honestly. But, you know, just looking down and dirty and all that. Half of, half of it is because black people are making it dirty. So if we just had funding to keep a community clean, we wouldn't need gentrification to liven it up. I guess there should be no reason why I see buildings more upkept, grass being cut, um, buildings being bought out, houses being upgraded because white people moving in. It should just be, it should have been upkept from junk. I feel like it's a mindset too. What like, you mean? Like you gotta wanna help your community. You gotta wanna keep up your community. Yeah. Like, well, I think I think as a race we need to get out the mindset, out the mindset that stuff need to be handed to us. Yeah. Because if we wasn't given nothing, you work with what you had, and which is why a lot of black communities do do thrive off of that community setting. But I do feel like we can't have pity for ourselves for so long that you just get stuck and think this is all you deserve or this is all we can do. We need to think bigger. Yes. Better. Think outside of your community. That's why I wanted to go away because I, I didn't want to see the same stuff. And I also feel like everybody can't have the same dream. Like, everybody can't make it out of hood with the rapping. No, okay, I'm not gonna say that. Everybody, I'm just saying. No, I get what you're saying, but I don't wanna say that because I feel like everything is oversaturated. You know how many rappers we got? You know how many singers we got? You know how many artists we got? True. Like, it's, everything is oversaturated. There's, there's not many things that's quote unquote new okay, okay. Let me that isn't let me, oversaturated. Let me reword that. Just, I'm gonna just say, keep it a bean with your partner, man. If no, I think I think talent is talent. If he can't rap, bro, just let him know, bro. Yeah, I think talent is talent. If you don't got it, you just don't got it. So don't try to settle. Not trying to settle, but don't don't focus on something that isn't popping. Like if you're not a good rapper, and somebody had to tell you this, because you you're not gonna. I know you're not gonna believe it, but somebody's gonna have to tell you that you're not a good rapper. And from there, you're gonna have to determine what's your backup. I say everything. Everybody should have a backup though. If you think you're ready to make it to the NFL, you need to realize if I don't, what am I gonna do? Hmm. There's a lot of stuff we need to work on. 
I don't really want. And because at this point, we need to stop trying to change the world. It just change ourselves. Mm. I think what you mean. And it's like, and it's like, not com we're not saying conform to a white America, but literally work with what you got, which we did coming out of slavery. We work with what we had. Coming straight out of slavery with nothing, we work with what we had. But to just be begging for acceptance, let's just stop. Like what? What the girl say? Um, what Beyonce say? Best revenge is your paper. Like, if we had more successful black people, maybe they would take us seriously. Mm. But they don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that. And I also don't like like if people, if black people, get, when they get rich, they tend to like forget their community. Yeah. But then also you can't just like when when a, when a successful person come back be like yeah bro I remember you was little man like you didn't try to be like, yeah let me hold about five hundred dollars yeah black people like, always you know, want a handout yeah that's just like when I started my business people still asking me for discounts give me the family discount like I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with that because I get like that in the store like but that's the department store like they got money to spend like. Don't think about like, oh, that's my homie. Let let me get him to put me on. Like, no, put your cell phone because you're trying to help them progress. Like, you should want to pay full price. Like, you invested in a business. Now that we talking about that, go shop K Collection. You know what I'm saying? Period. Uh, link is in the description. I'm ready to post something right now. Follow follow the business page at DK Collection LLC. Follow me at Rock XMP. Boy. That's going to be right there. It's Wait, really right not. Right there. It's really not. Well, all right. Since you, since you know. Okay, let me do an intro to the video. Let me. So, hi, guys. Oh, it's just an intro. Oh, oh, the video oh, is oh, over, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Let me plug, man. All right. Can you see? Can you see? There you go. Right there. Get my followers up, man. I'm trying to. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I don't know what you're doing. But just, just subscribe. Get with it or get gone. Also, put on post notifications because YouTube will not notify you when I post. And I hope y'all enjoyed it. I guess y'all like seeing him, I guess. Yes, sir. Comment down below y'all thoughts. What y'all think? And I'll be back with another banger. Let me stop. <laughs> That's not a YouTube agree. Banger. And be like, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video. You already know it's going to be a banger. I'm not doing all that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Do, do sis.